show you how to touch up and correct images using Seashore. In this picture here, you'll see the pug has a clump of sand on his lip. It kind of looks like a growth. So we're going to remove it. There's a few ways of doing this. You notice I have the brush tool open. Uh, one nice uh, little quick tip with Seashore is you can hold down the Z key which will turn it temporarily into the zoom tool, and we're going to zoom in on that area. Okay, now you can see it a lot better. So now we can also use the tab key, hold it down, to temporarily pick a color. So we'll pick this color next to it, and then let's make sure we have a brush that's not too large here. And then we can start doing that and we can grab a little bit more of the dark color and now if we zoom back out voila it's gone there's actually an easier way to do this and it's called using the clone tool so if I switch to the clone tool I'm going to show you real quick how this works we're going to go to a very large brush and essentially what you do is you mark an area of the image by holding down the option key and clicking somewhere. Then as you paint elsewhere, it'll copy that section of the image. So watch what happens here. By doing that with that large brush, actually let's go with a little bit smaller brush so you can see it a little bit easier. It'll start copying it. If I go to a different area, it'll start copying it. With again, basically using the center where I marked as the reference point. And you can see here that it shows you that it's from a particular layer here, not from the whole image in the description. So now that we know how the clone tool works, the easiest way to do this, and let's revert the image back. Okay, now let's zoom back in on that area again by holding down the Z, drag that area, Let's switch to a small brush. I'm sorry, let's go to the clone tool. We'll switch to a uh, small brush with a little bit of fuzziness on it. And then we're going to mark this area here to the right of it. And then we're just going to start painting over it. And it's going to copy that section. So you notice it grabbed, uh, you know, a bunch of the surrounding pixels so you don't have to pick by colors and manually blend it. Similarly, let's go down and like to get some of the sand out of his uh, beard area there by clicking below it and then we'll start doing that. Similarly, we can get a little bit closer up here and then we'll take some of that out and then we zoom out. Looking pretty good. So the clone tool is really powerful when you're correcting images. Let me show you another example here by moving to a different image. So here we've got a landscape and we're going to take this uh, pole, the, the utility pole out, and we're also going to take the house out. So again, let's use the clone tool. Let's use a fairly uh, a little bit larger brush here because it's a larger image and I'm going to mark over in this green area here and then I'm just going to start clicking on the house and drawing and painting it in. Let's let's zoom in there so we can see what we're doing there a little bit better. Voila, the house is gone. So the same thing with the pole. Zoom around the pole. And let's use the clone. Let's mark it another area here so it's closer. And then we'll just Something like that. And you can see it's not 
real it's a little bit blurry in there so some of this is better to use a larger brush pick the area to the right and then paint over that you'll get because you're not getting the blurry ed edges as much similarly if we do the road we'll come over here we'll click to the right on the road and then we'll take that out and now obviously we have a little bit of a crooked line on the road we'd have to go in and correct that similarly here we'll go up on this and then oh i hit the wrong i did not do that and we'll take that out and then we'll come down here and you'll see that that's out and then we'd have to go through obviously we could pick this area right to the next to the tree we'll take a little bit smaller or brush and we pick this area right there and then we just come right over it and you can see how this is done and then like you notice this area here where it's getting a little funky you take the smudge tool we'll use a pretty small brush here and we can blend this stuff together and it looks a little you know shaky uh, when you're up this close, but when you zoom out, you won't even be able to tell. So thank you for supporting Seashore and look forward to my other videos.